start stream in three, two, one, go. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First, welcome to the South Africa podcast here at eight o'clock um, CAT and two PM EST. Uh, we have uh, two wonderful guests today. Uh, we have uh, G Wolf, or as as many people might know him, the Free Shrugs Wolf. Hello. As well as uh, Tigsy Tiger or Twitchy Tiger Twits and things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> wow, well done. It's like the, no, the thing is, is that on, on her YouTube channel, I think it's like Twitchy Tigs, and then the other one is Tigsy Twitch. So I, I got mixed up. Yeah. yeah. Any case, she's here as well. Um, recently, she went to Anthrocon and actually did. I think it was a first shooting, uh, like talk, talk on first city. Was it like the pa panel? That's the word we're looking for. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. So was, um... You had the mic really, really far up your mouth. <laughs> if I can remember that picture. Wow. Well, no one could hear me, so. They showed a mic no. in my mouth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Raccoon, um, Raccoon asks why we can't see two guests, but the thing is, is that much like we've, yes, please, yeah, uh, much like we haven't had um, uh, like the extra guest for people like Doge or uh, other furs who are on our stream, both G Wolf and uh, Tigsy are in the same room. Um, Pretty much, they'll be talking from there. Yep. That, cool. Sweet. So yeah. Um, well, let's let's get down to business. Like as always, Scratch is obviously here. Unpu is not going to be with us this evening. He's got work Shit. things to do. Yeah. Is it work? Yeah. Yeah, work. it is work. I can sympathize yeah. though. I've been at work all day. Deadlines. That is an amazing fan. Yep. <clears throat> and Doge is here. That's awesome. Okay. We were just speaking about Doge. Uh, but yeah, so um, we're pretty much just going to do what we normally do, I guess, uh, which is talk shit all day. Um, but yeah, aside from that, I think that's a bit onto my mic. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Bloody hell. I'm so freaking out though. Yeah, you're, you're, you sound a little bit like confused. Mm. <laughs> Any case, so um, how many cons have you guys actually gone to together? Um, pretty much anything I have a video of. So from mm -hmm. Midwest Fest 2013 till okay. now at AfroCon this year. That's so. That's cool. All Probably right. five or six together. I know I've been to a lot of cons before that. Yeah, I don't. I don't really count. So I'm like, uh, drill a little bit. <laughs> the wheels are turning. Uh, yeah. The, the the just the fact that you've lost count is already like a million up on us. I can count <laughs> exactly zero. So three hundred thousand five hundred fifty-two million. In my dreams. In my uh, mind, yeah. Count. I, I don't think that I'd actually be able to live that long to be able to actually go to the mini cons anyway. Um, that might have to have about as much money, like that that million. I'd, I'd have to have that amount of money. It would have to be in like a stock exchange, and the stock exchange would have to like constantly pay me out month by month, and then maybe I can fly to every single con in the world, which will never happen. Yeah. At some point, you'll have to. They will catch up to you guys. Mm. So, any case, the South Africa podcast is uh, generally just for your information, since I kind of bugged out for about 10 minutes. Uh, we're a um, podcast that we generally get like guests on that either interest us or have interesting stories that can that, that they can tell us. I mean, we, recently we've had Potteroo from um, Camp Farrell, uh, we've had. Cajun, we've had a whole bunch of other furs as well. Tempo. Uh, I know that I mentioned that to you guys in an email, but just so you know, this is what we do, which is generally screw around quite often. <laughs> so yeah, uh, 
So you guys have been to a lot of cons, and uh, now obviously recently you were you were uh, you were talking on that panel. Uh, what exactly were you guys actually talking about? Um, it was like my friend started this thing called Pennsylvania Furry Entertainment, where we go around to like non-furry events and stuff with permission or invitation from the people that run it. So we were doing a panel for like public fursuiting, how to get involved with stuff like what we were doing and mm -hmm. fursuit care and traveling and stuff. Uh huh. How, uh, if I may ask, like, how receptive are people on the other side of the fandom, people who are sort of marginally interested or marginally connected? Like, how receptive are they to stuff like that? Uh, like, the last one we did um, was for this huge car event thing in um, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania's state capital. And it was like, I would say most of the people, like, thought it was awesome too many pictures were taken <laughs> and like it's not a furry convention so it was really really hard for us to get away to get a break but oh. yeah there of course there were some people that uh were a bit negative about it but it just made us laugh because we're like i don't care <laughs> well, that's awesome yeah no that is awesome we recently actually had a couple of first suitors down in uh, Cape Town in Stellenbosch uh, at a at what they call Stellcon, which has uh, recently started um, geek convention. Yeah, it's sort scratch. of a, yeah. As far as I can tell, it's a sort of a uh, geek culture convention, kind of very tiny thing. Stellenbosch isn't enormous, but I mean, th there's enough hmm. nerds to fill a hole. Hmm. So, I, who was was there actually any first suitors down there? I couldn't go this weekend. Yeah, Leeward Leeward was actually there. She would recently finished her own first suit. Oh, lucky. Um, apparently, two or three furs on the forum have said that it looks a little bit creepy, uh, specifically Aww. because the eyes are kind of awkward and the head is a bit big. I don't know. This is pretty much what they've been saying. But then again, I mean, like she put on some massive ass horns on that thing. She looks like. She's she's a cow in charge. <laughs> nice. But um, there's the first joke. Woo. <laughs> yeah, murdered Pennsylvanian fur. What? What? Well, how did you get onto that? No, no. Um, a raccoon has posted something about a murdered Pennsylvanian fur, buried in boyfriend's yard. Oh boy. Donna C. Yeesh. Or Sasha Tigris. That's well. That's unnerving. Very. Was she killed because she was a fur? Abuse of a corpse. Okay. Moving along quite swiftly. Very swiftly. Um, so, uh, so you guys have been doing that for a while now, and like obviously some people have a little bit of a, a negative reaction to it, but you guys have never actually been tackled. Oh like, no. Out, uh, it was just okay. kind of like side remarks on the side. Most of the time I can't hear it because of the fursuit, but mm -hmm. when I look over the footage, it's like bust out laughing at how ridiculous <laughs> these people are. Get out of my face, fur fag. What? Really? You like stuff <laughs> like that? <laughs> is, it, is it that bad? I never really know, actually. Like, no. What the extent Most of the time you is. get weird looks. People are like, what? what? Oh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm unsettled. I'm not, I'm not familiar with this. <laughs> yeah. Well, the... Go. That, uh, the... Yeah. Uh, that and um, at that car thing I just mentioned, um, on one of my video files, I heard someone say, when we were walking by them, they're like, you guys have sex in those things? And, uh... Of yeah. course we do. That, that is generally the point that you turn around and you go, yes, what about it? Do you have sex in that thing? <laughs> yeah. And you, like, point to the nearest car. <laughs> hey, you're, you're being paid by these people. I wouldn't mock their own, like... <laughs> you're outnumbered. Let's, let's call it that much. No such yeah. thing. You're just cornered for a very, very small amount of time. I suppose. And I, like the next time that happens, I'm probably gonna say, "Do you want to try this on? You want to see how hot it instantly gets? <laughs> you want to shut up?" Yeah, uh, yeah. That's the one thing I can't really wrap my brain around. Like, 
that thing must be enormously uncomfortable and super hot to do anything in, much less sex. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. It's called that. aircon, I think. I think people mostly put their aircon in like minus two and then hopefully like benefit from it. Yeah. And then have sex. Meh. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> uh, yeah, look, I mean, I know that there's uh, there was this one video that I saw of a fur out there who was talking about the fact that he spent like up to 10 hours in his suit. And oh, no, who was that? Uh Wasn't eight, eight to ten. It was eight to ten hours. He said that he was in his suit, and he said, "Well, if I took the damn thing off, it would be all sweaty to get back into. So I might as well just stay in it." Wasn't it Shia? It wasn't Shia. It was a, it was a white wolf bunny thing. I've seen him around before. He's kind of cute. Like has these like adjustable ears. Oh, okay. And at one point they like adjusted it to a point that it looked like he came from like a windswept. <laughs> area. Cool. Yeah. I can't remember his name now, but yeah. So eight to ten hours inside a suit, and I don't even think that he had the cooling vest at the time. I think it was like 2011, so it wasn't that widespread yet. Mm. Um, uh, hey. uh, Do you know Fiber, the green and white tiger? Yeah. yeah. I know he spends a lot of time in suit. I don't know how he does it, but my gosh. He's a pro. Hmm. I know Raccoon just mentioned that a first suitor actually collapsed at Euroference. How many people have actually collapsed? Correct. Wow. <laughs> suddenly I'm from China. Suddenly, uh, suddenly I just made like a racial slur. Great. Yeah, uh, moving on from this. Uh, yeah, I mean like how many people actually sort of, how many sort of uh, confirmed cases of collapsings have you guys had at Furcons? There has to be at least one at every con. I'm pretty sure there was one at Anthrocon, I think, during the parade. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I'd imagine that and would that was, be... Uh, yeah, that was bad because that was the first year that they, like, let the public see the parade, so that's why we went outside. Mm -hmm. And I think it was right after... It, yeah. Right after, right before we went outside, when people can see in the glass, so they like got him away really quick, so no one saw that. Oof. Mm. Nice. That's why I call it death march. Mm-hmm. <sighs> it, it, it actually like has a fucking stretcher it off. It actually has a nickname like that. Oof. Yeah, uh, just constantly ask a first shooter about the first year parade, and you nine out of ten times you'll hear, "Oh yeah, I'm ready for death march." Yeah, that's Oof. what I call it. Oof. That's what rough. it feels like. <laughs> and this is outside in the middle of summer, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, crap. Yeah. I must take stones to pull off. Yeah. And, like, Luckily, after every parade, yeah, I mean, like that's no, go. pretty wide. Sorry, go ahead, uh, Tixie. Ah, I said, luckily, after pretty much every parade, they have a bunch of free water for the fursuiters. No, that's cool. Oh yeah, that stuff goes quickly. <laughs> I can very much imagine that. Hmm. Uh, at, at least, yeah. If if first shooting becomes a thing for Archon, it's going to be somewhere in our winter. So yeah, yeah it'll be in July, uh, June. I keep getting those two damn all mixed up. It's July. Um, it'll be in June, and it July. will be in possibly one of the coldest areas. July? Yes. Come on. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> you suck at that. My ineptitude is showing. Yeah. Um, I yeah. do. I know. Like, I mean, I suck at a lot of things. If anything, I think we're basically going to like wind up having to dodge hailstones more than anything else. Because Bloom is hail central. Yeah, but not in the winter. I thought it was in the winter. Like, it's, more likely, it's, it's more likely to snow there if there's actually cloud cover. Okay. And in the winter, there's almost no cloud cover. That like everything is dead, except for everything else. Damn. Bloom sounds like yeah. a box. Bloom is amazing. Bloom is Bloom is one of the most beautiful places that I've known. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Speaking of um, like places that we should actually not go to, Brits would be one of them. I'm what? never going to Brits again. What and where Ever. is Brits? 
We um, we had to pick up a fur from uh, who was actually from Austria. He was busy. I think one could, could probably call it volunteering mm -hmm. um, down at 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 mm -hmm. um, And the thing is, is that that like I had to drive up and and go get him. Aside from the fact there was like a sixty-eight kilometer drive, the drive back down to Randburg was on these really really tiny ass roads. They called it the R five eleven. I call it death road for for, for like everything else. Mm -hmm. um, it was so bad that I was afraid to pass any trucks on that road because it just curved constantly. Mm. And um, yeah, by the time I was actually physically tired, by the time I got to to the Bry, <laughs> I was literally I was sort of sitting there going like, wait, hold on, I need to sit down. I need to have like three drinks for about like the next couple of minutes, and I'm gonna go lie down over here. Mm. And I lay down on like there was a drain. I was lying down at this like manhole cover, and I was just like, "Okay, I am fine." No. Well, just like closed my eyes for about 15 minutes, and I was like chilled. That doesn't sound yeah. like a hobo at all. No. Well, come on. I can do better than that anyway. You, you can so, definitely. Yeah. yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Um, so in all in all honesty, if you guys ever want to come down to South Africa, like we're pretty chilled at trying to pick people up and getting you to meets and things like that if you ever want to volunteer in our area. <laughs> we have cheetahs. And something resembling Cheetos. Cheetos? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. What are those called again? Knick knickknacks. Mm, no. No, that's something else. Something puffs. Yeah, so something along that line. Cheese, cheese puffs. Yeah. Cheese curls? Like the mm -hmm. Cheese curls, isn't it? Cheese curls, yes, cheese curls. Yeah. Nothing better than cheese curls. Wait, steak is better than cheese curls. Oh shit, obviously. Any case, mm -hmm. so um, uh, we heard that G Wolf actually had a couple of interesting stories about some of the cons <laughs> that he's gone to. And we're yeah. more than welcome to hear that. Share, share. If you're willing to share. Like, if anything, uh, start at the most recent and then go to most funny. Okay, uh, well. I do it as, is there a filter on this stream? Cause, no uh, filter. So far, uh, woo. Yeah. We have, okay. uh, we've lost hmm. the filter many times. I'm trying to think most recent one. Uh, crap. Anything that really springs to mind. Uh, oh, yeah, GasCon. Yeah, there's GasCon. Mm -hmm. And that's Furfest. You guys were there? Oh, yeah. yeah. That was How fun. cold was it outside? Oh, I just got a shower too. <laughs> oh, oh. So it was fresh sweat in the dead of winter. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> I mean, you could have got out of the shower. The alarm was going off. Yeah, I didn't hear the alarm until I shut the water off, but I thought it was the typical, oh, some drunk asshole just pulled the fire alarm thing. So I just started screaming, like, you can wait. <laughs> oh, boy. And I get out, and he's like, oh. Uh, there's a chemical attack. We kind of got to go. Yeah, we got to go. Well, we didn't know about that until like way later. But mm. once we got to a certain point down the stairs, you can definitely smell chlorine. And it was horribly bad in the main lobby area. Mm. And then once we yeah. saw like fire trucks and ambulances and uh, the hazmat team, we're like, this might be not a fire alarm nonsense crap. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. But yeah, we were out till probably five in the morning. That? I we think started at like one or two. We, we were speaking to Dalmi, who was also at EFF. He was actually dancing at that point. Well, not at that point, but I know that uh, he'd he'd come back and he realized that all the furs were still outside, but he'd come from like. Let's let's call it a dodgy area or a dodgy party, which involves whips and whips and chains. We'll put it like that. Oh uh, yeah, we we heard about them because they had they all had to go outside like that in their like gear set up and. Ugh. Ooh. <laughs> oh my That's word. Sad. <laughs> like incredibly. Like, how do you explain that? How do you explain that to EMTs? I ask yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're incredibly cold. You know, maybe you should bring us back to the hotel. 
you know, we're you not re really dressed for this weather. For this weather. You know those shock <laughs> blankets I always see you people hand out. I want one now. Well, the awesome thing was that um, the neighboring hotels let us into their ballrooms and were giving us free water. So there was one that absolutely refused because of the fursuits, and they didn't want that. So uh, we didn't like them. Mm -hmm. I can only imagine. Yeah. Falcon punch. But yeah, it, it, it sort of must be weird. I mean, there's there's some people who sort of understand and know what they're getting themselves into, and then there's just like the the hotel next door just let out with a bunch of people that looked like sports mascots, like squads of them. I kind of yeah. don't want to get involved with that right now. Mm -hmm. Speaking of sports mascots, I think that the sports teams can actually like take a leaf out of every single fursuit maker's book. Because <laughs> holy crap, the mascots from like the from from the American places they look kind of creepy, like all the time. What I hear, they're extremely like hot and heavy and stuff. Mm -hmm. They can probably be made a little easier or better. Yeah, but the heads are a bit. Too big, I'm sure. Oh yeah. And then of course there's the infamous ruts at the that that basketball mascot, the Raptors one that tends to. Oh, they just oh, four, four, four people, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't that the the one of the video that I saw that just like fell the fuck over? <laughs> like it's completely <laughs> face blown face all through the court. It's, <laughs> it's like a gif is everywhere online. Mm. Sports. But sports, yeah. Go, team, go. Sports ball. Yeah. Um, we actually like the South African um, mascots. Actually, look pretty awesome. Mm. I actually like do. if you look at, I think Boko, <laughs> uh, Boki, looks good. Yeah. Even Zakumi looked good. Yeah, when they did have him. I never actually saw him in model, kind of in. Um, I s in there, shoot. there actually have been some some nice models of. Uh, not to mention that as soon as everybody was like, "Oh look, international like focus onto South Africa," oh, they have a relatively cute like little mascot thing there. Immediate porn. Immediate rule thirty four. <laughs> <laughs> like nigh instant, seriously. Mm -hmm. I think that that always happens with these sort of big announcements, especially something like the, the Soccer World Cup. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so um, next, like, funny story? Uh, let's see. I wouldn't classify it as funny for me, because I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> uh, both of these happened at FWA two different years. First one... Huh. Uh, I'm in the fursuit lounge, just, you know, kind of relaxing, cooling off, and this guy kind of, like, just plops down next to me and, you know, just sits down, like, all right, cool, maybe he's just joining our little circle of how we're talking. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there, and I feel my foot move. I'm not moving my foot. I look down, and this guy is rubbing his face on the bottom of my foot paw for my fursuit. Bare face. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, um, can I help you? <laughs> do you do you have a problem? Is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is, uh, I have a large need for you to just get the fuck away now. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Would would you like me to take it off for you so you can like continue your business elsewhere? <laughs> oh. oh, no. I'm, I'm, I'm bought a him. God no. <laughs> Don't encourage him. No. Just uh, imagine him. I can imagine that guy stalking you at the next con. But I haven't seen him in a while. Isn't, isn't hey, look, I got nothing against the paw people. You mean? But that every, was that was crossing a line. Yeah, I was like, that's crossing a line. He actively grabbed my foot. And was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna rub my face all over the bottom. Mmm, so good. Ugh. Was he was he like making Murray noises while doing it? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I was more in a state of shock because I was like, this, this guy is rubbing his face on my foot paw. What the actual fuck? <laughs> and I think that's why that whole like consent law has been passed. That whole like, you kind of need people's permission before doing this kind of shit. 
to prevent yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, every every person's their things to their own. I mean, I got nothing against people that like to put stuff and all that other crap. But don't actively grab me and try to include me in this. No, not at all. <laughs> There's a there's an Afrikaans saying that that kind of um, not necessarily encompasses this, but uh, sort of not an Afrikaans, but a South African saying, mm -hmm. uh, which is pretty much make the circle bigger, mm -hmm. and that's definitely not how you do it. <laughs> no. Yeah. You at all? Yeah, that's very true, actually. Uh, I don't know if I did that day or not, Dodge, but I might have. I mean, I walked around and probably stepped in something and. Uh, no. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, that's not a thing. That's that's basically like a shoe, Let except it attracts that. more dirt because of the fluff. It, Wait, yeah. so what do you think about people get into a fursuit lineup of puppet puppets? See if they didn't allow puppets to get in fursuit badges this year. Uh, I don't see why they would need to go in the lounge if they're using just puppets because i mean yeah i mean what are you gonna do cool off your hand not trying to speak bad about people but I'm just, mm. eh. like at anthrocon there was like an older couple walking around with a wagon filled with puppets and for some reason they went into the fursuit lounge and uh you kind of need a fursuit to do that unless yeah. you're with a fursuiter yeah. we're like why are they in here they just stood there and then left like oh Okay. Didn't try to pawn anything of creepy. off? What? They weren't trying to hawk anything or pawn anything off? Uh, not that I know of. They were just, they walked in, stood in the center, looked around. Ten minutes later, they just walked out. Hmm. Hmm. It was, they were kind of creeping me out, though. Interesting folks. Hmm. Yep. I mean, um... Like, I mean, obviously there's there's a lot of, like, spontaneity when it comes to things in the room. And obviously, like, some of the videos that you guys have shown. By the way, I do need to <clears throat> do that quickly. No, okay. So I'm going to find your YouTube page again. I'm going to share it with everybody and make you... Make you internet famous, baby. Make you famous! <laughs> 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 what the fuck was that? I said, I'm in a famous! <laughs> yeah. Uh. Um, well, obviously, like, there was there was new research that came out from uh, Adjective Species recently that was, um, that was done that was talking about what they call uh, con... What's it? God well, damn it. I don't know. Con depression? Oh, oh post-con depression. Do you guys get that still? PCD? I mean... I, okay, yeah. I got it so bad, like, before we started living together, because we lived a few states away, like, probably a 12-hour drive. Yeah. So, like, until Anthrocon this year, that was the first year where, our first con where we actually lived together. So, like, as soon as we would leave each other, I'm like, oh, I don't want to leave. <laughs> Pretty much with the snot, you can imagine. Just not crying huh. and everything. I mean, how is the fur count in Pennsylvania? I'm assuming that it must be a little bit higher than all the other states. Oh, yeah. Like, I keep finding, like, the corner of the state I live in, until kind of recently, I thought it was just me, but people keep popping up randomly. Hmm. I don't know. I haven't met anyone else. I just know they exist around here, but they're mostly in um, the Philadelphia area, and of course, a lot in Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. hmm. uh, it, is is the sort of the furry concentration mostly around the centers where the the cons are held usually, or I'm, I'm assuming they will gravitate more towards there. Uh, I would say mainly, or if anything, definitely the major cities of the country. Mm. Mm. Makes sense. How many... I know that I've, I've seen the list, but I mean, like, how many cons have you actually seen being advertised, like, at, say, something like, uh... uh Anthrocon? Like, do they even do active advertising at other cons, or what? 
I know they do. I just I never really see it. I think the only one I actually ever saw was um for Anthro New England because of Gale. But other than that, I haven't really seen it. I just know they do it. Mhm. Mm I guess it's not as effective or I'm just completely oblivious, which is highly possible cuz I am just out there. Okay. My mind is also, your range of vision, I would assume, is a little bit cramped. It's not as bad as you would think. Really? But, yeah, I mean, it's definitely darker. <laughs> and it also depends on the suit, because uh, my range of vision is slightly better than G's head, but his is much more clear. Okay. So, it could go either way, but I can definitely see things. It's just, when I'm in suit, I am just... Uh, my attention span drops dramatically. Mm. <laughs> There's a lot I'm more like, oh, to do. Yeah. What? There's a lot more to do. Oh, yeah. Like attempting to stay upright. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you've drunk a little bit too much, then I think that's probably one of your main concerns. You're like, okay, fuzzy your vision than normal and gross. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, for that, like, I do drink in suit, but. Once I reach a certain point, I'm like, I probably shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> Fuzzy... just walk in my tail. Fuzzier vision than normal. And I'm looking through a mesh screen. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know we spoke about this before, but there has to be someone who, like, at some point just took it too far and hurled in or through a suit. I must oh, I'm pretty sure that happens more often than you think. Actually, I've heard stories. Yeah, that's why after a certain point, I'm like, nope, I want to keep my suit. Yeah. Poor people. Oh. Mm. Yeah. I remember Shia Koft, um did that one thing, uh, the Do It video that yeah. he did recently. Well, not recently, but I have no idea what the hell he had in his mouth, but it looked disgusting. <laughs> and like, yeah, and you're just like, oh, oh, why? <laughs> yeah. So, uh... What am I? Where am I? Okay, so I mean, like the thing is that obviously you guys had that just do it thing where you seem to get other people in the whole way involved in 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 doing it. <laughs> that that was an accident that turned out amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aren't those oh the God. <laughs> Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> then all you see is like air humping. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I need to see that video. So you guys tend to do like suit swapping quite often. How exactly do people, please, react uh, to to when you do that? They don't realize we switched. Yeah, half and... the time they walk up to me or her and me and go, "Oh, hey, G, wait." Yeah, the <laughs> first time we did it, um, I was in a partial, so you know, boobs are noticeable. Yeah. And uh, someone came up to me thinking I was still him, even though clearly I'm not. And uh, we started talking with my voice, still thought I was him. Like, you must be drunk. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm assuming G is, is like, like the master of disguise, and he can like put on a female voice whenever he wants to. Sneaky, sneaky. Damn it. You, you, you know what that you, really... so, you sound like Ross from the Sakura Spirit Play. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what actually you know what that actually reminds me of? What? Remember the rejected cartoons? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Don Hertzfeld, where are you now? Yeah. Did everyone bring their 3D glasses? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I gotta go. <laughs> My anus is bleeding. <laughs> there yeah! it is. That's the one I was waiting for. <laughs> uh, Oop, there it is. <laughs> oh, God. I haven't watched that thing in yonks. I watched it recently again, and I was just like, this is just as weird and just as funny. Yes. <laughs> this is still good. <laughs> Ever want to creep somebody out, you send them that. Or a Syriac video. Yes. Yeah. Especially cows, cows, cows. I don't... Yes. 
I don't quite know what that is. Oh, you should look it up. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what it is either, and I don't think I want to know. Oh, you're going to get some later. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. <laughs> Pause. I'm going no, to. No, it's awesome. He's He's got this, like, I don't even know what the hell you can call the music that he uses, but it's it's that plus, like, GIF insanity. <laughs> I feel like I have seen it. Like, picture, imagine him, is that Isher? Yeah, Ash. Oh, I'm trying to think of it. Yeah, I'm seeing Yes, yes, him. Imagine that, but with like infinite loops with awkwardness and creepiness with usually animals. Yeah. Mm. But these I, infinite I, loops get like more complicated with like every loop through. Yes. And you're kind of like, it first starts off with cows sort of bobbing their heads side to side. And then suddenly it's cows elongating and then cows becoming spiders. Why do I and feel like I've seen something like that before? I have seen that. I don't remember it, but I know I've seen that. I think I've seen GIFs like that. Hmm. Like a sort of cat, caterpillar kind of thing or, yeah. Yeah. That like, I mean, one of the things uh, now at, at the bribe from yesterday, uh, one of the things that I was doing is, is that now there's a chick cut that's, um, who actually like hosts the Bry's every day. Bry is pretty much the equivalent of a barbecue. But better. But better. Always better. Um, <clears throat> and I think Victor, if I'm not mistaken, is online. Yes, he is. He's the uh, blue and blue backgrounded black fur there. Uh, so one of the things that we actually did is uh, like I started meowing at him and he started barking at me and we were kind of standing there doing that for a couple of seconds. And then people just sort of stared at us kind of awkwardly, and we were like, what? <laughs> like, seriously? Can a dog be a cat sometimes? Because <laughs> I was getting that, like, you know, you know the, the, the mating call? No. Oh, that one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was, I was doing that. And he was doing this, like, high-pitched woof. <laughs> like, Pekingese. Imagine a Pekingese. <laughs> and that was that was the exchange of the conversation between us, and we were just like, "Yeah, we can do this." These people, these people are weird up in Joburg. Oh, <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I got most of my weirdness from you, and you're still in Cape Town. Yeah, but I know I know when to rein it in. Like, I never know when to rein it in. Mm -hmm. I, I I save my weirdness for when I'm comfortable around my colleagues. Comfortable around my colleagues. Yes. I save my weirdness for never. <laughs> I, I've like, I've, I've managed to say some of the worst things this week uh, to my students because we're talking about image, text, and gender. Oh God, <laughs> I'm, I, I, it is not worth saying it on here. But I've I've said things that, yeah, I, I needed to take about ten to fifteen minutes to sort of sit down and go, guys. I'm I'm doing this because you need to look at this in context. Because I said a couple of like really, really insanely stupid things about churches. Uh huh. Yeah. Well done, Bible basher. Mm hmm. <laughs> what do you mean, Bible basher? I was doing the exact opposite. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's the wrong thing. Yeah. That's the other yeah. way around. Like, you don't want to know about Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I had literally I had gone as far as. Fine, I'm, I'm going to go into it anyway. I'd literally gone as far as saying that churches are pretty much big erections to the sky god. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my, yeah, my view of churches is a little bit more like, like, I don't know, churches are full of people and people are full of shit. <laughs> Sometimes. Churches yeah. just creep me out. Mm. Yeah. Also, I've been to too many funerals for church bells to mean anything else these days. So I try yeah. to stay away from them. Mm. Anyway, from that morbidly wonderful topic, um, so ex uh, like when you guys were, were well, Tigsy, when you were talking at the at the con itself and and things like that, I mean, what kind of questions do you actually get? I'm assuming there was like an open forum, or how exactly does that work? Like, I mean, there were uh, about four, or five of you. It was kind of a last minute thing and ten in the morning, so it wasn't really a big thing. There was probably twenty people in the room. I didn't expect anyone to show up, but uh, I couldn't stay till the end when they were doing the like question and answer stuff because I had to go to my fursuit maker's photo shoot. But mm -hmm. 
what we were talking about, well, I said that earlier, but I was the one that was talking about, like, traveling on planes with fursuits and stuff, and this proper stuff to do for it, and everyone else chimed in. Mm -hmm. You don't just stuff it into a box and hope that it'll stay. Mm -mm. Yeah. Oh, I, my feet paws are slightly deformed. Like, people probably can't notice, but I notice, because I... You get back here. Shh. <laughs> she left. She has to uh -huh. pee. Oh. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, my first con I flew to was Midwest Fur Fest in 2013. Uh -huh. And, yeah. Airport people do not care. Apparently, they threw my bag around so much that my feet paws got squished. Uh -huh. and then, last year... Um, I had a bottle of cough syrup because I felt like I was getting sick. So I'm like, I'm, I'm not going to do this for my convention and ruin it. So I had that. I was flying home, and I guess they opened it to see what it was and make sure it's not a bomb or drugs or whatever. Large Did not put the cocaine. on. What? Large amounts of cocaine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Well, there's, there's nothing better for the sniffles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> might, as, yeah, might as well put the sniffs to use. Yeah. But they didn't put the lid on properly and it leaked all over my fursuit and my other stuff. Oh. And no, no. It, it smelled really bad and I was not happy at all. Mm. Okay, I mean, if it was but, like I mean, the strawberry flavored one, it would have been okay, but. Yeah, it was the heavy duty stuff because I, I didn't want to actually get sick, so. Mm. Mm -mm. Vicks flavors. It, I open my suitcase. I'm like, oh, this reeks. No, I got it out of my suit, but my lanyard and badges were so sticky, and they're still kind of a little messed up. But oh well. Yeah. Well, look. At least you haven't taken. I think it was Air Australia. They have a, a a viral video of a guy taking, like he was watching the people unload the, uh, the plane. Like, the guy didn't take the time to actually walk down the stairway. He would just drop them from the top into the, into the basket below. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I know for planes here, they have, like, a moving ramp for that, thankfully. But they still, like, throw them on the carts and stuff. Yeah. But there was a point in South Africa where we would, uh, like, it'd be a thing that your, your luggage would never be in the same plane that you were in. Um, so you had to wait a while. Um, oh. It's pretty intense. It's, a, it's defunct now, so almost yeah. defunct. Even though, like, we have nothing but Airbuses at the Oratambo now. Really? Yeah. Oh, yes. Scratch told me um, Iron Maiden is coming to South Africa. For those of you guys listening, uh, most amazing thing. I need to see them. I'm going to sell my soul. Yeah. So if you don't see me at the furry con, it's because I spent too much money on the Iron Maiden concert. <laughs> Could, yeah, if that's the same weekend, there will be quite a lot of upset people. I, uh, <laughs> Yourself included. I would be so upset. <laughs> oh, oh, I'd be torn. <laughs> oh, boo. No, but granted, look, I mean, I've been a furry longer than I've loved Iron Maiden, which is like a year's difference. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see. Um, yeah, so what kind of, yeah, I mean, like, obviously we've, we've heard a lot of your music or a lot of the music that you probably like in your videos. What kind of music do you actually listen to? Um, what I actually listen to is mostly like rock and metal. Mm -hmm. 90s alternative and electronic. Yay. Huh. Electronic. That's awesome. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's actually epic. Uh, like, what, what, uh, like, Hailstorm is probably, like, big for you guys? Yeah, Hailstorm is real good. Have you ever been to one of their concerts? No. Sadly Good. Not. Because otherwise they would hate you immediately. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. On a, a Breaking Benjamin coming up in September. Looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I, 
I feel like I've never actually heard Breaking Benjamin. <clears throat> you need to listen to Breaking Benjamin. All right, I'll put them. I'll put them on Spotify tomorrow. <laughs> You'll enjoy it. Yeah, they're from around here, so it's kind of like their home concert. I got them yeah. tickets for his birthday. Hey, I can answer that one. That uh, dodged and I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't know if it's dodge, doge, doge, doge. my doge. doge. I'm just gonna call him dog. It'll be easier. Uh, Yo, dog. I a wedding <laughs> to go to Anthrocon. <laughs> my sister's wedding at that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> um, well. I, like I said, I need to rephrase it because I didn't totally skip it. I went to Anthrocon for a day and immediately turned around, drove through the night to the morning to show up to the wedding. <laughs> and I got the first suit at the wedding. Oh, what? For real? Nice. Yeah. Nice. I didn't know about that one. Yeah. That's awesome. How, how did hands. your sister feel about that? Or does she my like the idea? Oh, my whole family loves the whole first suit thing. I've which is weird. I've occasionally walked into uh, like my aunt's house, and they're like, "Oh, hey, Jewel, hey, no, that's that's weird. Tell me about my real name." <laughs> I, I feel uncomfortable. Oh shit! Yeah. yeah. Um. So I the whole well, thing. G Wolf, now that now that you're talking, your um, gaming channel that you've like started up, what was it, two years ago? Uh, yes, I think two or three years ago. Yeah, GG Bros. Mm, GG Bros, yeah. Uh, how is that going? Like, I mean, um, it must be probably like I know that we've we've actually never actually had a person who did gaming. Let's plays. Let's plays from well, I mean, we've got two or three from South Africa, but we've never yeah. actually had people who had sort of like a modicum of success to it or actually like constantly like churned out videos. Um, uh -huh. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, 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 hey! There's an excuse for it right now. Mm -hmm. Because uh -huh. the whole thing and all that, my PC's in the other room. It's kind of hard to stream uh -huh. when the PC's in here and my gaming is in there. Okay, well, while you talk about that, I have to go to the bathroom really quick before I explode. Sorry. Run, Forrest, run! Oh, Take your time. Now I control the stream. <laughs> <laughs> it must be a new feeling. Uh, it feels alright. <laughs> oh, wow. Doge actually knows you. Oh, wow. You actually know GG Bros? Wow, that's kind of shocking. I mean, I know I have some subscribers, but... Well, you have subscribers in South Africa. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> yeah. call I called him the shrugs, shrugs guy because he's the shrugs guy. Don't yeah, just ask good. why the hell... <laughs> but he is the shrugs guy. Right, yeah, sadly, I'm the free shrugs guy. Sadly. <laughs> I, I keep on trying to, like, retire the stupid thing. <laughs> Dare you say shrug it off? <laughs> oh God! I, I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah, I keep on trying to get rid of that thing, but Kelly keeps on dragging it along, and <laughs> uh. uh, but yeah, DJ Bros. I I will say I haven't been recent with it because because of the move and all that, and trying to get still everything around here situated. I haven't uploaded in a while, but. I do plan on making some more regular videos coming soon. If anything, a stream coming up recently. Because I've actually had a couple people asking, when are you going to do a stream? When's the next video? Why are you not doing anything? Are you dead? Do you not love us anymore? <laughs> Pretty much. No, notice please. me, senpai. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was just fine. Senpai girl. notices you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Someone actually knows about GG Bros that's in here. Oh. <laughs> Apparently fangirling, even though he's a guy. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> well, that's cool. Um, oh. I, yeah. I, I sort of... I've always had some technical questions about the whole, like, let's playing and monetization and whatnot. But, I mean... I'm assuming it must be sort of uh, must be difficult to break ground the first few like first few weeks or so doing stuff like that. Okay. I mean, that's the one thing is like if anyone out there that's listening wants to do it, the first thing is you can't be discouraged. No matter what, you need to just keep on pumping it and having a good time. That's the main thing. If you you know like make a couple videos and like do it within a month's time and you only get like 
a few subscribers and goes, oh, man, I, I don't know about this. I'm just going to back up. No, just keep on going. Because <laughs> I've had those doubts, I will say. I've had those doubts, but I kept on doing my thing, and the channels kept on growing slowly. And now I do have a uh, a partnership through a third-party program. Okay. So, uh, G-Wolf, apparently you know Doge. Yeah, and also known as Dan Leo four two seven. Daniel, Daniel Leo four two seven. That sounds familiar. <laughs> Doge is just gonna have his dreams crushed in like the next ten seconds. You're like, wait, hold on, who was that I'm, guy? I'm horrible with names. Tixie can vouch me on this. I'm horrible at remembering he, names. He remembers everything. He's awful. <laughs> He's just lying. He's awful. He's just that really... right. <laughs> don't, don't be a tool, man. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I think maybe, maybe Doge needs to clarify his his pointing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit better. Yeah. Because apparently that was pointed at me. Yeah. Did not know that. Oh. Okay, I was expecting... You're off the hook. You're off the hook. Good. Sweet. I'm a free man. No, no, no. <laughs> Sit down. Yeah. No. <laughs> Sit down. I will jump on this chair like Tom Cruise. Have a seat. No. <laughs> well, I mean, you are on the seat. And you're having it. And you're on a talk show, technically. Yeah. Uh, Go ahead. Start doing the whole, like, I still remember they made a wonderful little, uh, like, edit to that. Or when he jumped onto the seat and, like, Oprah Winfrey was kind of, like, 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 falling backwards. Like, not understanding what the hell was going on. They had, like, force lightning coming out of his hands. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Just sitting there going, like, yes. The internet <laughs> can a wonderful that. place. Oh, that man is weird. Your mom wants me to add her on Snapchat. I don't have Snapchat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is this fascination with Snapchat, actually? I don't know. I don't get the fascination with Facebook and all that crap. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's a, a 15, 45 second conversation. I don't know. I, uh -oh. yeah. I know nothing about it. I just know you snap and you chat. <laughs> Way to break it down. If it's, even if it's somebody else's penis. Which, you chat to huh? the penis. What do you do? Like, Which, hey, how, how, how are you doing? You look a bit stiff. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yes, keep family away from social media, for God's sake. Keep all away from social media. Yeah. Mm. yeah, no, that's that's an absolute fact. I don't even have my dad on Facebook, and I don't think my dad knows what Facebook is. So I'm free. I'm okay. I'm happy. <laughs> Lucky you. Um, yeah. My real mom's on Facebook, though. So I'm kind of <laughs> sitting there going, like, every single time I post this thing about the church, I'm just like, don't see it. Don't see it. Don't see it. I just don't post anything. I just like event invites and that's about it. Hmm. Good, yeah. But I mean, you guys both have Twitter accounts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Multiple Twitter accounts for one of you. Both of us. Hmm? Well, yeah, I mean, you gotta Wait. keep the identity separate. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah you're not gonna, I don't know, attach your like, work address to your sort of persona's Twitter account, that would just be strange. Yeah. yeah. No. No. I just have two furry ones. I only have one furry one, and then we've got the South Africa for Twitter that I also control. Mm. I have I a... Mean, bitch. I have a few. Hmm? I have a few. Do you have a few? Do you have enough to dark one? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. I, I, I honestly don't one. use it as much, like, eh. Like it's there. I get mm -hmm. some updates, but I don't. I don't troll it for news. There you go. Uh huh. Twitter's just yeah. I've never really got okay. the whole hang of Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> what is the strangest thing that either of you've done in fursuit? I know Tigzy, you've you've baked the cake. Um, were you following the the badgers like? Uh, Thing because I know that she did it as well. The what? No, that was just something I, I was like. The badger huh. that, uh, yeah, the, the black, black badger with the claws. 
Bake a cake. Uh, that was just a like spur of the moment. Hey, let's do this tonight. And I was like, let's add fursuits to it. And then <laughs> recorded it. I got drunk. Mm-hmm. Or sort of. <laughs> it's always fun though. Hmm. G Wolf. Strangest thing that you've done in suit aside from free shrugs. <laughs> Suiting at your sister's wedding. <laughs> uh, that, yeah, that might be. I'm trying to think of the stranger well, thing. I'm strange, done. stranger than that. Like, I don't know. That's what I'm I mean, to I know that. Me. Uh, what's it? Uh, goodness. If uh, you suck at names. If Anpu was here right now, he'd be, he'd be shouting. King Gord. Anpu. Yes, I do suck at names. King Gord. <laughs> yes. If if King Gord, he's, he's done some weird things. He's played golf in fursuit. Well, I was going to say, I know I've went and played mini golf by myself, and the whole time I had people from the uh, Hooters, so I was right close to it, yelling at me the whole time. They're like, Woo! Wolfman! I'm like, yeah, I'm going for a hole-in-one! <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Uh, let's see, I know I've set off fireworks <laughs> in fursuit. Um, we went to like a little drive through dine-in place in fursuit, and apparently some small band showed up there and they were drunk off their ass so that was entertaining <laughs> nice uh uh-huh when i first got my suit i went to walmart by myself in suit well i wasn't by myself i was with someone else but he didn't have a suit hey, he hand... was just kind of following me around this handler you know what's what what's what's funny about that is is that i don't think that you were the strangest thing in walmart at that given point oh never no, no. it's walmart no yeah, the, in Walmart. the internet has shown us the way of Walmart, <laughs> like, seriously. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I don't know if it'd be I the swear they start doing that for, like, you know, 15 minutes of fame. Maybe. Who I, knows? It's like, I really want to be on that, like, strangest things in Walmart. <laughs> hey? Uh, I don't know if it would be strange, but it was funny. Uh, it was the... Very first thing that happened to me in my fursuit. Yeah. Uh, so I got my fursuit literally the day before FWA, and it was 2011. So I got it, and, you know, of course, I'm a stack. I'm like, oh, my God, I finally got this thing. So I had to put it on. I get on. I get everything on. I'm running around my house being a stupid goofball wolf, and I'm like, oh, yeah. Well, I quickly want to take it off because it's in the middle of summer, and it's hot. I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to try to get out of this thing. Uh, at that time, my suit was a back zipper. And Ooh. in the process of zipping up the zipper, it got stuck. So I couldn't get out of it. So I was stuck in my fursuit for a good hour and a half until my parents finally got home. <laughs> and I literally, like, dashed at them going, help, please, get me out of this thing. I'm hot. <laughs> oh. That was, oh, damn it. And your it was in your sort of your parents. I mean, I'm assuming this isn't like much of a hidden thing, being that you actually like oh, no. showed up at a wedding in it. Yeah, no, this my, literally when I say my family, I mean my whole family oh. knows about my first shoot thing. <laughs> That's cool. I can never be as open about that. Like my parents are, my parents yeah. look at me really, really weird. Yeah, I mean, like. It, one of the weirder things that I I think is is that like it's it's probably easier to come out as homosexual than it is to come out as a furry these days. Uh, uh, it, 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 yeah, yeah. I was gonna say it, it kind of varies depending. Cause, I mean, it's all about how that person's perspective is to the world around them. Mm. They're a little bit more open-minded than they'll be. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, okay, that's perfectly fine. That's mm. your thing. You're not hurting anybody. Blah blah. blah. Other people that are a little bit more closed-minded, uh, not so much. It's then how you say it, because my whole family knows too. And like for the first thing, I was like, "Mom, look at this thing I drew." It was like the first versions of Tigsy, and it's like, "Yeah, this is like kind of me if I was a tiger." And uh, also, I'm getting a costume made out of it. And she's like, "That's cool, I guess." <laughs> She didn't really, like, was, not that she didn't understand. She was just like, all right, do your thing. At least I don't have to pay for it. 
Yeah, no, but, yeah. The same thing here. I mean, it started out with me just doodling the comics, and it was, it was sort of inspired by a lot of the furry artists that I discovered in my youth. And my parents were just like, oh, cool. He's, yeah, in my youth. And they were just like, oh, yeah, like he's drawing something. That's pretty cool. Let's leave him at that. So they know tangentially. My sister was the person who was actually, she drew my first, first uh, like my fursona. She's actually the reason why I'm green, um, which is why I've never actually had a backstory for it. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, she, I was like, yeah, no, 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 make, make it gray. I, I like that color. And she's like, no, that's too generic. Something else. <laughs> what? She, <laughs> she went, no, do the art colors. You're going to be green, red, and blue. Like red and blue clothing, but green all over everywhere else, with like a fox tail thing. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. She she literally refused for me to be a generic wolf. Yeah. What what, what does that post mean? Original, original character, do not steal. <laughs> That's why I added green to take. Hashtag like first rainbow forever. <laughs> I was like, oh, I want it to be gray because I also like gray. But I'm like, that, that's too boring. I'm going to add something else. And then my friend added green to my stripes. And I'm like, I like that. And then I have an obsession with glowy things. So I'm like, radioactive. There we go. Radioactive tiger. Shit glows green. <laughs> Why not? Nice. Exactly. Hmm. Yeah. That's well, just straightforward. Love Timberwolves. They're black and gray. Do it. Too many wolves. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, I'm just a just... wolf. <laughs> Kitty things, master race. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I remember watching like a whole bunch of um, what's the word? Uh, vines, like furry, furry related vines, and there was actually a whole thing about the kitty master race. <sighs> like every now and again. The cats would be talking, and then like a dog would come in and like hit both of them beside the head, or like throw a table at them, or whatever. It's a, it's and a I'm thing. They're going like, cool. <laughs> all I'm saying, all I, yeah, no, it is kitty master race. Look it up. It's also dragon master race. Wolves and wolves and like dogs and uh, like canines generally are just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> Let them have their moment in the sun. We will. We shall persist. The fucking proletariat <laughs> of the furry community. <laughs> Almost feels like. Yes. It. <laughs> if there is hope, it lies with the proles. Hashtag. Then, hashtag. Uh, what's a dragon master race as well? Like ten. Ten internet points. If anyone can tell me where that, that um, that comment comes from. If there is hope, it lies with say the proles. It, say it again. If there is hope, it lies with the proles. I have no idea. No, don't know. Okay, just checking. I recent I recently finished the book, so I just want to like show off my smarty pants. <laughs> uh, at the shrugged. No. Damn. <laughs> do Do you seriously think Iron Rand gives a shit about the proletariat? Yes. No. Further furthest thing from it. Um, you know, objectivism is a very selfish uh, philosophy, but still. How in the hell did we get here? I don't know. Oh, proletariat. That's where we got there. Suddenly we're talking about sociology to like the extent of the <laughs> firstly the proletariat. Next thing you know, we're going to start talking about like Viktor Frankl and Marxism. Marxism. The Nietzsche. Nietzsche. <laughs> Leeches. Love lychees. Have you guys ever had lychees, by the way? Never heard of it. Is it a lychee? Uh, Apparently it's a lychee. Uh, lychees are weird things. Like I don't think they, they get them overseas much. Um, I know I heard of it. There's from these animal hard little stuff. spiky ball things, mm-hmm. and you you open it up, and then you've got like a a squishy ball thing on the inside. Yeah, it's like it's like a white fruit, and then when you suck off all of the squishiness on it, you've got a pip in the middle. This is wow. Yeah, you... this is worse <laughs> than peaches. Yeah, like seriously, you're kind of mutilating my wants to ever eat lychees again. I like lychees. You're welcome. 
Try pomegranates. They got seed on the inside. Yeah, well, pomegranates are just like... <laughs> po pomegranates are weird. I mean, it's like... Who would eat anything that has that many pips in it? Seriously. It's annoying. How do we get her? Oh, would you like to share your other story from FWA? I mean, I have this of stories. What are you talking about? <laughs> What's the other story? Uh, let's see. I guess we can go with the groping story. Um, uh, sure. <laughs> so I'm in first suit. Uh, I forgot who I was talking with. I was just talking with some random guy. Well, I see someone out, out of my peripheral. Someone just kind of like casually walk up and doesn't say anything. I'm like, all right. He's just listening in. And then he starts rubbing my belly. And I'm like, hmm, I don't know about this. So he kept on doing it. I, I'm at this point. I'm kind of ignoring him. I'm like, eh, I don't know how I feel about this. Whatever. Next thing I know, it he grabs the boys and everything. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, like all that right there in front of people. I like how you call it the boys. It was he grabbed the boys. <laughs> like, well, I didn't really want to put up with it so I punched him square in the chest and knocked him off his feet and I was like no you don't <laughs> do that to people get out of here yeah <laughs> that actually that, that reminds me of um, a similar story that I have uh, as Bjorn can actually like uh, attest to this one we were at a, at a club one day and this guy was actually kind of coming on to me a little bit stronger than I'd have liked and he came on so strong that he literally just sort of like he didn't ask. He didn't say anything. He's just like, yeah, cool. He literally pulled my pants away, including my underwear, and just went straight for it. Oof. And I was, I, I, did, I couldn't even react. I was like, oh, oh, yeah. okay. That this is hap This this happened. This, this is, is the thing. Um, this is my life. A, I, the, the next day that I see you, I'm going to kick you down the stairs. But for for now, I'm stricken. <laughs> how, how do I consent? Like, what the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? No, so, so like, yeah, yeah I've, I've had a similar experience. It wasn't in suit, but yeah. Ew. It's not a nice feeling to be groped Ew, like that. But I think after that incident with me, I think that's why a lot of people ask if they can hug me, because I feel like they're worried to touch me without permission. <laughs> Well, I, I mean, it's, it's polite to ask. Yeah. Well, the only story I have similar was at FWA this year. Um, some kid was just, like, hugging me oh, for, like, an uncomfortably long time. And uh, while he was doing it, his head was directly on my boobs. He was not that short. He crouched down to do that. And I'm like, uh, oh, uh, um... Okay, this is a thing. This is this is the Did he nuzzle? Oh. I don't remember. I was kind of like, please. I was too worried. I'm like, um, this hug is uh uncomfortably long. I would like you to go away now. Please <laughs> stop. Please get away from my tits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boundaries. Nice. Yeah. Fucking hell. Some people like honestly. I don't know if that's just. Where do you draw the line between like not knowing social norms and just being advent being sort of taking advantage of it? Like, yeah. How do you tell? Well, for for men, I think by this point, men should know boundaries a lot better than than anything else because it's it is becoming an issue that is that should be addressed more often. Um, I mean, like, yeah. I mean, in South Africa, we have stories that are freaky but and in america horrible. it's actually almost worse bigger country more people yeah <laughs> bigger concentration of like weirdos weirdos or just misogynistic bastards yeah Ugh. but i mean like where where do you draw the line i mean like the thing is is that say i mean even in gay culture like the men act like misogynistic bastards towards other men mm -hmm. And it's just, it, it kind of gets very, very awkward very, very quickly. 
Um, I mean, and in fursuit, it makes it even worse because most people are like, oh my God, that fursuit is so sexy. I want to be all in it. And it's, it's yeah. Oh, um, so don't ever talk like that ever again, please. <clears throat> Sorry, no, no, no. I'm, I'm going to carry on for about 15 seconds. Give me a second. I've, I've got a joke lined up for this one. I'm gonna like, can I get your autograph with your cum on this piece of paper? Thank oh, you. Oh, God. God, Jesus. You're welcome. Fucking hell. I mean, like, that's, that's literally, like, a lot of people are probably sitting there, like, and, I mean, like, you do get your creeps who are just, like, back in the corner going, like, heavy breathing. It's like, <laughs> oh, look at all of them. I must have them. You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> Jesus. Where do you hang out? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that? Uh, you remember that we, we made a, a reference to like one of the leather clubs? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. God. That, that actually okay. happened outside of um, Amsterdam once. I'm, I'm coming, I ran away. I'm coming up to visit in a few weeks, right? Yeah. We're not going there. Good point. Just saying. Like, scratch that off the itinerary that you had, if you had one. Like, it's not going to happen. <laughs> well, it was never on the itinerary, but hey. Good. Doge, which, which, which version of what, what I should actually ever do again? Because there, there were about two or three incidences there that I, yeah. Pick, pick all of them. <laughs> so, yeah, what haven't we covered yet? Uh, Do you have any more stories? No, I got plenty of stories. Well, uh, let's, entertain. Let's see. Uh, there's the story of riding with an elevator and a guy with poofy pants. And <laughs> oh, thing you know, there's a smell of shit in the air. Oh, oh, yeah. oh God, I almost lost my drink there. Um, yeah. Fucking hell, these people exist. Yes. No, they do. Um, it's, a lot of the time, it's not. It's it's not that bad. But it's it's normally not that bad. But I got the bad draw of the card that day, and no. Uh, yeah. like, at AnthroCon last year, we were down by the river at night. Oh God! And we were just <laughs> hanging out, and um, this like group of people in skirts and stuff. We're like setting up a hookah or whatever, and they had like um, uh, like picnic blanket, and they were setting it down. And when they bent over, you can clearly see a diaper under all of their skirts. And they sat down and pulled out stuff, and they were like pacifiers and stuff. We're like, oh, I'm gonna go now. This is happening in public right now in front of me, right here. Yeah, <laughs> away from the convention. Oh, yeah. I was just letting it go. Maybe I don't know. Mm. That's, yeah. I mean, yeah. Again, if Anpu was here, he'd be going off on a tangent about this. But like, yeah, have your kinks, but just like, don't air your dirty laundry in public. Yeah, like... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ooh, yeah, Zinger. <laughs> I, I actually. I I actually didn't even think about that one. <laughs> God, I'm good. I am good. Oh, yeah. I don't judge people for what they're into. It's just don't don't take it out of wherever. Just you know, <laughs> yeah. be normal. Yeah, like no, okay. hashtag what is normal? Yeah, normal is a strong word, but like there's a line. There's a line of common decency. Exactly. Mm. Ugh. Yeah, we hmm. yeah we've bitched about these people enough in, in the past to be honest. But I mean, I, I've never experienced it. And thank God, I don't hope. I hope I don't ever. Like seriously. Well, I mean, if we're ever going to Anthrocon, which is something that we still have on the cards, mm -hmm. I think by the time I'm forty, that'll be my first Anthrocon. <laughs> and the worst thing is, is that it's not that far away anymore. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my deadline is getting shorter. Ugh. Don't talk to me about deadlines. I have like three in short, medium, and long term that I'm stressing about right now. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. 40's a, yeah, that'll be interesting. Like 40 years old, going to the first con, and you're kind of sitting there going like, why is everybody so young? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Speaking of age... 
Uh, yeah, okay, go. Uh, G Wolf. Yes. How old are you? 40. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No. I am 26, going on 27, coming up in September. God. Oh, sweet. You're actually our age then. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sweet. Oh, <laughs> I yeah. myself and Scratch are, are 27 now. Yeah, the loading bar is 90% complete to 30 at this point. Mm. Now, is it? Is yeah. it really 10% to go? Yeah, then I'm at 30. Oh. And you're at 30 as well. Mm. Yeah. That's a, yeah. It's only a number. Yeah. Like, what, 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 uh, how do you sort of, what's the age range of the people usually going to those cons? I mean, we have like a pretty young, um, uh, a pretty contingency. Yeah, yeah, very, a uh, large contingency of younger furs in our, um, community. I would... Like, is, I mean, obviously the con has to be like 18 plus, but where does it lie? Younger, older, 30s, 40s? I would say mostly it's like 18 to lower 30s, mostly in the like mid 20s. But you do get your occasional like older people. Yeah. Okay. Also, well, thank you, dog. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, or happy early birthday. I saw that. I was like, maybe I should actually mention it. Right. I, I even say like Dodge or do something. Doge. Oh yeah. Where is that? Didn't they always call him Doggy? <laughs> Didn't they come from like a? Didn't that come from a Homestar Runner video? Dogey? The, the pronunciation of the word doge. Huh, maybe. Like it, 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 this is video, it's like a live action sock puppet version of Homestar Runner where like the, sort of the roles are swapped between him and um, Strong Bad. And he's like, my dog, D-O-G-E. And the Strong Bad's just like, you're doge. Like, I need to find that actually. Now that I remember it. No, no, yeah. Doge. Homestar. Was it really that long ago? Because I remember Homestar Runner stopped what 2010. Oh, well, they made it. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. They came back like recently. They made more Homestar hmm. Runner. Yeah. Still waiting for the looking for group uh, movie. No, there was a movie planned. Yeah, that's the reason why I was doing like half of the uh, animations that he was. It was actually planned for a movie. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Maybe they, could, yeah, maybe they couldn't get the rights. It is basically wow. It is basically wow, but not wow enough to be wow. Ready, wow? Well, the wow movie's coming out soon, so. Yay! <laughs> Come on, I'm a little bit excited. I'm more excited for. Ratchet and Clank. Because yeah. that'll be an awesome movie. I, I never Did had a... Really? Yeah. Oh. Never had a PlayStation growing up, so I never had the experience. I only had the experience yeah. recently, fell in love with it. Okay. I, I fall in love easily, apparently. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a question for you guys. Uh, you guys excited for Zootopia? I mean, I'm looking forward to it because I mean, it's an animated movie and it's Disney, so it's bound to be good. But I'm not, you know, not part of that bandwagon of, oh my god, it's a furry movie. It's made for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of with that because they didn't really give much in the trailer, so I'm like, eh, I'll see it. Maybe after a real trailer comes out, I'll be more hyped for it. Mm. It's like, oh my god, anthropomorphic animals. <laughs> yeah, also, just. Jason... Yeah. Also, Jason Bateman. You have like a semi hard on for that guy, don't you? No, I I don't have. It's not that. It's just like I don't see him in that role. It's just. <laughs> he stuttered. He stuttered. <laughs> just screw all of you guys. I I love Arrested Development. Okay, I love that show. Oh, me too. I just can't see him out of that role, as Michael Blue. Well, I'm assuming. If, if I'm not mistaken, he'll be a guy in an office. Yeah. But, you know, in this case, I, obviously given sort of, dare I say, the Fox nature, he's going to be playing everyone else in the family that he is not. Like, he's the straight-laced person in that series, whereas in this one, where, as his role in this one, I would assume, is not so much. Just, you know, 
given the fox thing. It's kind of interesting how, like, if, if you notice, like, the, the, the tropes that are in there, mm -hmm. like, you'll look at a person who's, like, a paper pusher or, or something like that, and their immediate, like, dress code is unbuttoned top button, a uh, slightly unkempt uh, button-up shirt with a tie, and slacks. Mm -hmm. That's, like, the, the generic, oh, you work in an office uh, look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I mean... Tropes are there for a reason, I believe. They sort mm -hmm. of make sort of you can you use them to avoid writing too much. Uh, hmm. Rock Dog looks interesting, apparently, from uh, Raccoon. I've actually never heard of it. Is it a European thing? Rock Dog. Rock Dog. That's got a trailer. Secret Life of Pets also looks kind of funny. See, uh, well, I mean, especially when they did that thing with System of a Down. Yeah, I was just like, what? How? <laughs> Blast from the past. I mean, uh, have you guys heard of Updog? What's up, dog? Ha 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 so I'm sitting there talking, you know, I'm from out of state. I'm from Tennessee originally. I moved up here to Pennsylvania. Uh -huh. So I'm talking to people about restaurants and all that. Well, this, my buddy of mine, I was like, do you guys have Updog up here? He's like, Updog? I was like, yeah, do you guys have Updog? He's like, what are you talking about? I was like, Updog, you've never heard of Updog? He's like, what the fuck is Updog? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that so funny? I lost it. <laughs> Oh my god, if it works, it's just like glorious. You have a like, one in a million shot dog. of landing it. No, that's what made it better. He said, What the fuck is up, dog? With <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> I need to do that at work tomorrow. Oh my god, when it lands, it must be so, so sweet. It's so sweet. Because if you get the people that don't know the joke and they're just like, What, what, are you what is up, dog? <laughs> It's oh. so good. And, and you let the awkwardness sort of sink in for a couple of seconds. You just stare at them and raise your eyebrows. <laughs> like, hmm? Yeah? Uh, what is up, dog? There's definitely someone on my work that will fall for that. I know this. Hmm. Like, the first time that I heard about it, I was thinking, like, Hold on, up dog, does that mean that you like throw a dog into the air and flip <laughs> it around a couple of seconds? So you were wondering what is up dog? I was literally wondering. It's like, what is that? It's like what is throwing up, up after eating Chinese. I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Huh, that's actually kind of interesting. But, yeah, um... Any any other sort of like last closing stories that you guys had that, that don't involve gropage of specific areas and or people relieving themselves in public? No. Uh, I guess I could retell the sale of the I call it party kind because literally there's been no con that has beat it yet and it was literally the wildest event. Mm -hmm. It was one of the FWAs. I think it was year I before I learned. Was it? 2013 or something. Yeah, it was 2013 and 2012. And it was like the last night of time. And my buddy Camo, he was trying to go to bed, but it wasn't happening because I was full of energy and I was not ready to go. So, first it started with curtain exit door, where I used a curtain to exit out of the room. Mm-mm. <laughs> Why it was so funny, I don't know. Uh, then we chased down one of our roommates with condoms on our hands going, Kali Ma! Into the bathroom. <laughs> okay. Uh, then there was... Uh, they weren't actually cum rags, but literally whatever was wet or we, what we could grab and throw at somebody, it was cum related. So it was either cum rag, cum pillow, cum sock. Literally, if you could grab and throw at somebody, it was that... <laughs> uh, wow we had a condom we spit in it and put it over a wine bottle because it was sitting outside of somebody's room so oh. <laughs> we could probably ruined somebody's uh, nice wine uh, what 
else happened? I mean, that, that year was crazy. Nothing has beaten that year yet with what <laughs> happened. Oh, my God. Oh, God. I wish I had stories like that. I've never actually been to any sort of big events like that for anything like that to happen. Like extended I mean, periods have, of awesomeness. I mean, you don't even have to go to events for a good story. I mean, you just have to be at the right place at the right time and something is bound to happen. Mm. Oh, very true. Uh, like, that that kind of reminds me of my university days. Uh, I accidentally got high. <laughs> I say accidentally, but you know, accidentally. I say, like, how do you accidentally get high? It's like, oh, I didn't know this was a blunt. <laughs> Actually, you know what? There was there was a day that I legitimately got accidentally high, but that's a different story. Whatever. <laughs> like we, you we guys, you guys, is this marijuana? <laughs> <laughs> no, we were we were in this guy's room, and I pretty much got hotboxed into it. And there was a point that we were t- like he had a whole bunch of like those those free condoms that you find. Yeah, yeah. He had like three or four bags of those. Wow. We found out that no, if you put them on your hands and you touch people, it's the most amazing thing. <laughs> <laughs> he just sitting there going like wiping them off somebody going like, oh my god, this feels amazing. At one point, we actually tried to. The, the guy had a rat, so we decided to put this rat into a condom. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> it's 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 clothes were very sharp, so it generally found its way out pretty quickly. But yeah, we we attempted to put a rat into a condom. It's not my brightest moment. Yeah, oh. I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> a rat in a condom. I think that would be the first time I've ever heard of that. <laughs> it's it's just yeah. one of those lines. <laughs> Um, actually, you know what? Tanit is on here right now. He's the Austrian fur that I had to pick up at Brits. Um, and I mean, that entire, like, I, I put the line out on, on one of our WhatsApp groups, and I was like, I am in Brits, which is sort of like this backwater town in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it's dusty as all hell. And I was like, I'm, I'm in this place waiting for an, Austra- for an Austrian tiger. Uh, inside an area that is actually a bar, and I was drinking, and I was just sitting there going, like, why? Why am I even here? <laughs> it's like the people around me are just these, like... Um, now, the South African version of, like, a hick. <laughs> That's pretty much all I can say. What would we call them again? Zef? Yeah, I suppose Zef is the best term. Zef is possibly the best term. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Fucking. Uh, yeah. But yeah, okay. I'm not, I'm not, uh, we're heading up to 9:30. Um, uh, as the podcast is about half an hour and a half long, anyway. So uh, we'd like to thank uh, both Tigzy and G Wolf for joining us today. It's uh, been a pleasure. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> having you guys here. Yeah, that was really fun. Yeah. Fun. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's fun sharing my stories uh, for the others to hear. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we actually have a very, very large group of people who've uh, who've joined in. So, um, and obviously, like at the end of this, we we kind of thank them for being here as well. So, thank you, Rakuin, Cuddle Wolf, Victor, Tox, Neon, uh, Arashi, uh, Ninjan, Doge, Glitch, the uh, Glitch. Apparently, Doge again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's yes. like a Did capital Doge and a, and a and a mini Doge. Uh, <laughs> twice as nice apparently but yeah thanks for for listening to the uh, podcast we actually really really enjoyed this one we love having like little stories from cons and things like that and it's it's actually been a while since we've just sort of let go and and just screwed around a bit and we we kind of need this every now and again otherwise it gets well, we get morose like about things i think yeah no <laughs> we can yeah that happens Hmm. But yeah, it was it was really nice having you guys on. I mean, it's, these con stories are always interesting, and it's it's yeah, good to see there are people there are people out there having fun at these kind of things, as opposed to just having horror stories. Mm. Oh no. yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I love conventions. Oh, we love watching you guys at conventions. Yeah, yeah. Keep making <laughs> keep making the good YouTube stuff. 
Yeah, we actually really do love that. And I mean, obviously, you have a, a fangirling fan. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a fan good thing. That's more up to go, yes, I definitely need to be making more GG Bros. Which, mm -hmm. I, I'm going to say this, dog. I'm going to sneak dog. something in for you. So just just, just be watching. It's going to be <laughs> great. Huh. So just keep, keep an eye out. It's going to be sneaked in there. It's just special for those. <laughs> well, that's awesome. I think he's going to love that. <laughs> I think he will love that. <laughs> Everybody else is going to see it by what? Well, I don't understand it, but he he's he's gonna know. Like, <gasps> <laughs> Look, the thing is, is that I've heard him. I've heard him squeak before, and it's it's something that you kind of have to hear. It's yeah. Um, I don't want to be around when he watches that video. <laughs> cool. like, like the dogs in the county one step over are gonna be like, what the fuck was that? It is it is pretty much a silent whistle. Yes. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> nice. Yeah. But apparently you'll, you'll be his hero. Um, <laughs> which is awesome. <laughs> you <laughs> like very much of it. But all right. Uh, thanks, guys, for listening. Thank you for uh, joining in. Thanks, Scratch, for you know ensuring that we're actually all set up for this kind of stuff. I know that I had a small technical issue before mm -hmm. this. No, as as did I to a degree. I mean, I, I actually yeah. were kind of capped at the moment, but we managed to get through. Yeah. So, yeah, thanks for listening, and uh, we'll see you guys next week uh, for another one of these yeah. wonderful little things. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I actually have one more thing to say. So, Rakuin had a talk at uh, Euroference. Mm -hmm. He has mentioned to me that we should actually post it up on our site mm -hmm. uh, because he's never going to get a YouTube site, apparently. Which is, again, I mean, that's, that's awesome. But the thing is, is that, yeah, we're going to have uh, Rakuin's uh, talk on, um, I think it was Furry Music, if I'm not mistaken. No, I think so. I think yeah, I think it was on Furry Music. We're going to have his talk from Euroference minus the first five minutes of it, but we're going to have that onto the channel eventually. Cool. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that. Uh, keep an eye out for this on our YouTube channel. Um, Follow us on Twitter and Facebook and... All the other redundant social media. There you go. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Thank you for listening. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. Oh, Defining Furries. Is that okay. what it was? Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Hi. Squeak! <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And we are off.